welcome to the viewers and my dear students so today one of the most uh, the popular discontentment among the indians was the exploitation by the britishers to the indians so it is the exploitation of the economic resources so how the economical just the resources just were being exploited by the britishers agriculture country like india just were turned into the economic colony because for the sole benefit of the britishers and for the interest of the britishers that's why india was forced to supply the raw materials like raw silk and raw cotton <coughs> to the britishers at the cheaper rates india was bound to have to that because of the forcible circumstances because of the forcible circumstances and india was also made to accept the ready made british goods from england yes india just accepted that and that was also the duty free or at the nominal duty rates but indian products just going overseas to the england that was spell bound with just high <clears throat> high duty rates so that's why india suffered a lot because high import duties to the indian products in the english market so that was totally on conducive for the indians the plight of the indians the ruin of the industries of the indians in england in end is completely ruined by this <clears throat> another thing the thing just the, the thing just i am just going to provoke here that the indian hand just the handmade things just could not compete with the british machine made things at cheaper rates and that was also the duty free at the nominal also duty that is the cost so that's why <clears throat> british just have the upper hand than the indians as a result the indian industry just were destroyed or ruined another thing the food grains just to supply just to the british that, that is called the indigo and also the tea the two pro most prominent uh, the food uh, the, the grain were supplied to british so there's a little bit of that but due to that the indians got sufferer because sufferer of that because indians could not get surplus of that so the market rates also raised very high of that those raw materials so now the drain of wealth <clears throat> so drain of wealth means just it is so till just it is till the battle of the plassey 1757 there some union traders just getting into the gold and they are just in exchange of that they also purchased just uh, the raw materials like cotton and silk but after the conquest of the bengal that picture was completely changed because they directly purchased the raw materials just in form of that is in form of that is the surplus land revenues of the bengal and also profits they also made out just from <clears throat> the profits also they also uh, made out from that is called the duty free uh, business internal business in india they they also are also doing that so here starts the plundering of that plundering of the just the wealth because the resources <clears throat> the wealth and the raw materials just were taken away from the indian soil to, just to the britishers so in their also industry just they were using that 
so other then it is so this is the transfer of the wealth from india to england in which there was no proportionate economic return so it is called the drain of the wealth so another decay of the cottage industry also <clears throat> and also the handicrafts decay means completely paralyzed of the uh, that, that is called the genuine industry or indigenous industry that is so heavy duties of the just the indian silk and also textiles the cotton textiles in england which destroy the indian the uh, industry and also the england's just to uh, just to uh, those uh, the british goods just uh, uh, being imported to india that was duty free just with the, just a nominal that is called the nominal duty just just much profitable the british had could out of that so i think just uh, just towards the uh, middle of the 19th century so <clears throat> the hand spinning just became paralyzed so as a result of the artisans could suffer a lot and also they got just they got only employed and also their uh, traditional the patrons became also lost and the buyers such as the princes and zamindars they could also the glory of purchasing in lost way in the middle course of the time so now the <clears throat> economic de- decline of the peasantry because the peasant suffered a lot because the heavy burden of taxes given by the peasants such as bearing the administrative expenditure and the also the cost of the business uh, of the company and also in the different occasions they bore very huge taxes imposed by the britishers and nothing could just be done for their also for their welfare or for the progressive attitude or for the developing for the sake of the agriculture nothing could be done so due to that terrific circumstances unbearable circumstances so the peasants had to just uh, sell out their lands or uh, become the victim of the indebtedness to that so another thing just i will have discussion here that the <clears throat> that the landlords also during the time the zamindars the talukdar that was changed into that uh, the form changed into the that is called the money lenders that was also changed into the money lenders or the or the merchants and they could not read well the heart of the peasants and they could just be taxed very heavy taxes on them and misreading their also sentiments so due to these such flights they stood stood occasion fight just for power of independence so another the growing unemployment because during the time the traditional the traditional rulers just giving assistance to uh, the preachers the scholars and the men of the arts and they are also giving the uh, the patronizing to such type of traditional things but in the course of time when the britishers also came so uh, that was the decline of such rulers during that time as a result their patronizing is lost and those people also could depend upon such patronizing they also lost their income they become unemployed because some uh, there are some native states going straight belonging to the britishers so people just engage in service they become their uh, they got the unemployment they got unemployed uh, and also they got unemployed and also incomeless during that times so that's also became very dissatisfaction of them bitter enemy of the bt sir they became at last so an inhuman treatment to for the, the indigo uh, cultivation because the indigo cultivation was just highly profitable for bt sir their sole intention was to get the highest amount profit from that cultivation so that's why the british planters they forced the indians to plant only that only the indigo not other the crops if the other crops they were planted they are being also destroyed completely or their cattle are being carried off just as punishments that is this cat satisfaction poverty and famines also series of famine that is also the 12 majors and also very large number of just these small small scale minor 
was surrounded engulfed the indians during that times during that times another the decline of the landed aristocracy so here the landed aristocracy mean people just that the hereditary landlords the hereditary landlords or the hereditary landlords or the talukdars they could inherit their wealth show by their title deeds but during the british time they had to show their proof the evidence they had, they had to produce their the evidence of the title deeds otherwise their properties their wealth were disposed of and also disposed of the by the britishers and it was also sold to public auction just uh, it was sold to public auction just by the highest just uh, number of the bidders that was and also it was genuinely just also being sold out just by the zamindars and talukdars and they were also did not have any also means uh, the sympathy for these pe- the small scale peasants but at last also they also put them lots of trouble by the heavy taxes and of giving punishment that sometimes so that's why this was also very major problem it was uh, for the indians they got struck against this and also to the occasion of the first war of today of the today of the have a nice day and also goodbye and bye bye to all